Hi, I'm Above Average Joe here here today to talk about uh, really a common project around the house, especially when it comes to tiling and kind of doing that replacing, remodeling, and that is tile, tile board. And it's also considered backer board, tile backer board. And the thing is with Home Depot, we have three different brands. We have the Wonder Board here, which is by Custom Building Products, which is a really good one. We've also got further down here, the Hardy Backer by James Hardy. And then we've also got by USG, the Duroc boards themselves. Each of them come in the quarter inch or half inch thicknesses. And the reason why behind that is why they're uh, those different ones is because typically for quarter inch, you're gonna use those really on your floor applications. You don't wanna use any thick boards. Uh, so for example, this quarter inch right here would be really perfect. You want to use something like half inch here for your uh, walls because you're going to really rip out your shower wall, for example, of putting the, the backer board in. And really the differences between the three, um, it really kind of boils down to preference. I really have really kind of no uh, really discerning uh, difference between one brand or the other. But what I really like about each one, they're kind of key benefits that I'll kind of go over really quickly. With the, the, uh, the Wonder Board version right here, you've got a cement based boards here. Some people really like that. When you cut it, it's very thick. Uh, it's what a lot of people work with. And for all these, you do uh, have a scoring tool you're going to cut all of these with, and we sell that in our flooring department. And again, those tools, uh, everything we have for your project, you can always find it really within uh, this building right here. And then with the Hardy Backer, what I like about that is that when you cut these uh, boards here, it's really not a gypsum-based board or it's not anything cement. So when you're cutting this, you don't get any of those kind of crumb, those aggregate pieces left behind. And the really key thing that I like about Hardy Backer is that it actually has the little perforated lines there, one square inch. Uh, kind of cubes per se, is what those one square inch lines essentially do is when you're cutting and say you want to install like say a vanity or anything like that, you can get a really precise cut out there and it kind of eliminates a lot of guesswork, especially corner areas, things like that. And then you've also got your door rock, very similar to the Wonderboard itself, just our USG brand name. But really no matter what three you need to get, it's really only going to be as strong as really getting your accessories that go along with it. In this case, you've got your cement board uh, fiber tape here. Really need this to join up the edges right here, cover it back over with your mortar. And a lot of people ask me, should you really put your screws on with that? And I say always yes. In fact, Custom Building Products, who makes our Wonder Board, for example, they recommend you not only put the screws down, the backer board screws, but that you also put the mortar down underneath as well. So again, with the tape, with the screws, and with the backer board, you're really going to get the best remodeling job for the tile that you're going to find. It's been Above Average Show for the community. We'll see you online or in the store.